Hi everyone, welcome to Bedtime Stories with Conrad. We'll get started in a few minutes and let a few more farm friends join us tonight. Hey Rachel, hey G, thanks for joining us. Hey Destiny. Tonight's story is The Boy Who Wouldn't Eat Breakfast. And we'll get started in just a minute and let a few more new people join us tonight. So if you are just joining us, we do bedtime stories with Conrad every weeknight at 8 p.m. So go ahead and join us. We're gonna get started with tonight's story. It was Saturday morning. The sun was shining, the birds were singing, and the sky was as blue as could be. Everyone on the farm was fast asleep except for Robbie the rooster, who was sitting on the barn fence. It's almost time, said Robbie as he looked at his alarm clock. Just then, it started to ring. Bring, bring, and Robbie cleared his throat, <clears throat> took a deep breath, and called out as loud, and called out in as loud a voice as he could. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Cock-a-doodle-doo! It's time to wake up, everyone! Cock-a-doodle-doo! Cock-a-doodle-doo! <laughs> when Zach heard Robbie's call, when Zach heard Robbie's call, he opened his eyes, rolled out of bed, and quickly got dressed. I can't wait to play with all of my friends, he smiled as he brushed his teeth, combed his hair, and raced downstairs. Good morning, Zach, called Zach's mother from the kitchen. Good morning, Mom, said Zach. What would you like to eat for breakfast today? Asked Zach's mother. Pancakes, waffles, eggs, cereal, toast. I can make anything that you want. Have the pancakes, said Zach's sister, Emma. They taste so good with sugar and maple syrup and strawberries too. Try the cereal, said Zach's brother, Jess. It's so much fun when the apples and nuts crunch in your mouth. Sorry, but I don't have time to eat breakfast this morning, said Zach. But everyone has to eat breakfast, said Zach's mother. It's the most important meal of the day. Not for me, said Zach. I have other things to do. Hey, Haley. Before Zach's mother could say another word, Zach ran outside and into the meadow. Horace, the horse, was standing under a tree, eating some hay when Zach ran over to him. Hey, Horace, said Zach. Hi, Zach, neighed Horace. Let's go for a ride into the hills, said Zach. We can play cowboy. I can't play with you right now, said Horace. I have to eat my breakfast. If I don't eat my breakfast, I won't be strong enough to carry you on my back. By the way, what did you have for breakfast this morning? I didn't have breakfast, said Zach. You must be hungry, said Horace. Want some hay? No, thanks, said Zach. Maybe we can play later. Then Zach headed off to the barn looking for his friend, Clara the cow. And if you've been on our farm, we have a cow, but her name is Gigi. Clara was standing in her stall, eating a bowl of grains and oats, when Zach opened the barn door. It's almost milking time, thought Zach. That should be fun. Are you ready, Clara? Asked Zach as he brought over a stool and a bucket. Not yet, said Clara. I have to finish eating my breakfast. If I don't have something to eat, I won't be able to fill up that bucket with milk for you. Say, you're up early, Zach. What did you have for breakfast this morning? I 
I didn't eat breakfast, said Zach. Why not? asked Clara. I didn't have time, said Zach. Why, there's always time for breakfast, said Clara. Would you like some grains and oats? There's plenty left. Hmm, I wonder how good those grains and oats taste. No thanks, said Zach. I have to be going anyway. Zach ran over to the chicken coop to see his friends, Cory the chicken. It was laying, egg laying time, and one of Zach's favorite things to do was to watch Cory lay her eggs. And there she is. Good morning, Cory, said Zach as he made his way into the chicken coop. Good morning, Zach, smiled Cory as she crunched on a kernel of corn. And she does have a big ear of corn right there. Have you laid any eggs yet? Asked Zach. No, said Cory. I haven't eaten my breakfast. If I don't eat breakfast, I can't lay my eggs. Didn't you have breakfast this morning? No, said Zach. Why not? Asked Cory. I don't need to, said Zach. I'm not hungry. That's not good. But hey, sometimes that's me in the morning. I don't have time. Well, let's see if we should take these animals' advice. Zach went outside. There was no one to play with. All of his friends were busy eating breakfast. Suddenly, he heard a rumbling in his stomach. Uh-oh. Then he heard a grumbling. Then he heard a rumbling and a grumbling. That could mean only one thing. Zach ran home as fast as he could. Let's see what happened. Is it too late to eat breakfast, Mom? Asked Zach. Not at all, smiled Zach's mother. What would you like? I'll have pancakes and waffles and eggs and cereal and toast. <laughs> Looks like he wants to try one of everything. When Zach finished eating, the rumbling and grumbling in his stomach stopped. Horace and Clara and Corey were waiting for him outside. How was breakfast? They asked. It was delicious, said Zach. I can't wait for lunch. Thank you to everyone and all of the new people for joining us tonight for Bedtime Stories with Conrad. If you aren't familiar with the Hunt Club Farm Facebook Lives, Every weekday, Monday through Friday at 11 a.m., we are live on the Hunt Club Farm property in Virginia Beach. And then every night at 8 p.m., we are live here on Facebook with a fun bedtime story as you wind the kids down for the day. So I hope everyone had an awesome Monday and a great start to your week. And we'll see everyone on the farm at 11 a.m. on Facebook Live tomorrow. Have a great night, everyone.